Hello, my name is Caitlin and this is Crafts by Caitlin. Thank you so much for joining me today. For today's video, we are going to be diving in deep and creating some gorgeous DIY Mother's Day gift ideas that you can make at home. These are very inexpensive and I made these on a budget so they only costed a few bucks. Your mom is going to love these or that special person in your life that you want to celebrate on Mother's Day. That is just around the corner so um, I just wanted to bring you some really fun new ideas that you can gift to your mom. First up, we are going to use some balsa wood. I actually ordered this from Amazon, but all the dollar stores and Dollar Trees have some wood planks out right now that you could use for this, but I am going to be creating some huge magnets. So these were so fun to create. I am loving all of Dollar Tree's sticker selection that they have out right now. Um, so that's why I was inspired for all of these floral stickers. So I started by painting these two wood pieces with the Dollar Tree chalk paint or any type of black would have worked and I let those completely dry and just kind of played around with the stickers and positioned them how I wanted them. You can definitely choose stickers that is personal to the person you are gifting these to. My mom loves flowers and bicycles and gardening so that is what I'm going with. I just kind of play around with the stickers and put them down where I want them. They didn't stick the best right now because I did um, rub on some chalk and then wipe it off so it does have that neat little chalk residue look to it um, but don't worry I will be Mod Podging these down and then doing a couple layers of Mod Podge after they are finished to make sure everything is nice and sealed in. You could even Mod Podge a picture on here or make any type of collage. And then I will be um, gluing on some Dollar Tree magnets. I decided to go with the huge magnets from Dollar Tree just to make sure they are going to hold. But these are very lightweight, so the smaller ones would work as well. And then after those dried, I just wanted to add a little extra detail. So taking a white paint marker, adding a little stitching around the edges. These only took a couple minutes to put together. I love how they turned out, and I think they would be so cute in a little gift box maybe with some candy or other little treats but really really easy to make but just such a beautiful gift that you can customize a thousand different ways. While we are talking about magnets, Walmart has these adorable puzzle piece magnets for only $2.46, so a very inexpensive project to make as well, and I thought these were too cute. So I'm just picking up some random stickers that I have. I did pick up this mother themed sticker set from Hobby Lobby. It was under three bucks and I did get this on sale. So um, I wanted to be able to put these little quotes and cute little sayings on these puzzle pieces. So I am trying to just kind of a little bit more than dry brushing, but not 100% cover the puzzle piece because I love the wood poking out of the edges. So taking some ballet slipper pink chalk paint as well as white and giving these a coat of paint so the stickers will really pop off. And then choosing my favorite stickers or sayings and putting them on the little puzzle piece that they fit. This package actually comes with nine puzzle pieces so you could get multiple gifts out of this or make more for them or make some for yourself. I decided to just make a set of three of them, but it also would be really cute to stick some little photos on some. There are so many things that you can do with this. I added in some little paper roses that I picked up from Hobby Lobby to give it extra detail and added some little polka dots, but I think these turned out adorable and such a fun gift to give to anyone, but especially your mom. Next up, I am using some of these wood rounds that I picked up from Walmart, but as a substitution, I want to share with you that Dollar Tree does sell some wooden circles. They just have a hole in the top, but you can fill that with some wood filler and paint these the exact same way to keep this a very budget-friendly project. But these are inexpensive wood rounds from Walmart, but you can pick them up at any craft store. But I wanted to make a set of custom coasters. Now, I love little cutesy little girly coasters because 
I have a little office and it's just fun um, putting your cup of coffee down on something really cute and not making that ring on your desk. So I feel like this makes a really great gift that you can customize once again. You can use the Mother's Day stickers or any type of Dollar Tree stickers. I actually picked up this set of daisies and roses from the dollar store. They were too cute. I just played around with them until I liked the design, kind of stacked them up. And then once I loved how they looked, I put a couple of layers of Mod Podge on them to make sure that everything was really nice and sealed in. but you could definitely add in initials and quotes or anything. I did sand on these a tiny bit so that you could see the exposed wood. Once again, I just feel like it makes it look really nice. And then just making sure you are adding a ton of Mod Podge so that none of the moisture from the mug or cup that they are gonna set on this damages your stickers or pulls anything up. Sometimes it is fun to go the extra mile and make something a little bit more special for Mother's Day. I love giving homemade gifts and getting homemade gifts. For this project, I picked up a couple of dollar store items. They had this framed sign. This was an older sign, but they are coming out with the same framed sign. They just have new designs, so look for those, but any square sign would work, as well as this little watering can that came on a set from Dollar Tree. I just pulled it off of its sign. And then for this piece, I did glue down some faux wood uh, scrapbooking paper so that I would have a nice, pretty, clean background, glued back down the little border, and then spray painted this watering can silver. Now, it already had like a faux galvanized look to it, but I didn't want that staying alive. So I want this to be really cute and put together. So I decided to galvanize myself. So I started by spray painting it silver and then used a couple of different shades of gray as well as white and dabbed it all over to get this same effect. So after it was finished and I liked it, I decided to glue down some flowers so that it does look like a little watering can with some flowers growing out of it. And I did make the watering can 3D by propping it up on some tower blocks. Dollar Tree has a ton of these laser cut decals out right now, or they're not really decals, they're like actual laser cut wood pieces, but I glued down a flower, added in a little extra detail with my permanent marker, and then I had this set of wooden tags, but you could cut one out of cardboard if you didn't have it, and added in this cute little um, sticker that says my mother, my friend. I definitely recommend covering the ugly back of any gift that you're going to give. So I covered that with craft paper, added the little tag at the top with some poster tack because I felt like after I gifted this, she could take off the little tag very easily and then hang this up as a decor piece that wouldn't always say mother on it if you didn't want it to just be for Mother's Day, but get to hang this up all year. But I feel like it turned out really, really cute in such a personal, fun gift that you once again can customize with the colors or what you put at the bottom. The dollar store also has its own little section of Mother's Day gifts. So this came from Dollar Tree. This little mom wooden sign that I thought was beautiful. It was perfect as is, but I wanted to add in that perfect splash of pink color and put my own little spin on it. So I added in some more of those paper roses and I feel like it just gave it the perfect pop of pink color. You can find these 2.25 inch uh, wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree as well. They are in the Crafter Square. These are so awesome to keep on hand if you find them because they make awesome gifts as well as home decor. I started by taking three of them and staining them with my favorite flagstone colored Rust-Oleum stain. And I did a couple of coats of that. And then these stickers also came from Dollar Tree. And I am just kind of arranging my favorite ones. I put a quote at the top and then two pictures of 
of my kids because these would be her grandkids and putting them down and then mod podging over them to make sure everything is nice and sealed and if they do get dusty on a shelf she'll be able to wipe them off so the mod podge kind of protects everything and then I did use a square sticker as a guide to be how big I needed these to be. And then all I had to do was let these dry. This only took a couple of minutes and made a really beautiful gift. Dollar Tree always puts out the best Mother's Day cards. They have beautiful ones out right now. So I picked up a frame. These white and gold ones look so high end. I love using them on projects, but I felt like a cute little framed picture would be so awesome. You could pair these with the coasters or magnets. I took one of my favorite cards. I loved this mama bear one and used the photo frame paper as a guide, cut it down and just put it in the frame. And it makes a beautiful little piece that I think would look really good in a gift basket or giving alone or with a bouquet of flowers, but a really fun, easy to do project. I knew I couldn't make this video without making some kind of like faux bouquet. It's always fun to give flowers on Mother's Day, but it's fun to give like a fake bouquet too because you definitely can make this ahead of time and it's something that she can enjoy for a long time. So using one of Dollar Tree's little wooden crates, I painted it white. I'm using some more stickers as well as these rub-on transfers. I thought these were adorable um, from Dollar Tree. They have roses and birds and teacups, so this was perfect. Perfect. I cut out my favorite ones and then all you had to do was rub them on there with a popsicle stick and then they stay. So these are so cool and I cannot wait to find some more. And then I cut down a piece of styrofoam to add down into the bottom. And then I picked up these gorgeous purple flowers from the dollar store as well, the Dollar Tree. And I was able to cut them down. I always like cutting them down with wire cutters so they go better together whenever I can place them all around evenly. And then I am mixing in, in these white flowers that I love. They have the little hearts at the top. So that's perfect detail for a gift or Mother's Day. And then filled the bottom in with greenery. But a really, really fun piece. Next up, I wanted to share with you some really fun Mother's Day gifts that Dollar Tree is putting out. So you can put these really cute in a planter paired with some floral. So I picked up the bath crystals as well as all of this paper items and I just love these so much. They have to-do lists like stationery and they have a grocery list and I paired this with a cute little magnet for your dishwasher and I turned it to the pink side and just kind of stacking everything in there. I add in a dish towel and this cute little trinket tray or jewelry tray but I love love pairing things in like the planter because it's something that she can reuse later and then added in those hot pink roses for fun and then gluing on some extra detail in the front. These are paper flowers that I had picked up from Hobby Lobby. To finish this off, I used another Mother's Day gift card or Mother's Day card and cut out a mom tag and then glued it to a dowel rod. Thank you all so much for coming along and crafting with me today. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Let me know which project was your favorite and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.